Chapter 11 Arjun In thy mercy thou hast told me the secret supreme of thy spirit, and thy words have dispelled my delusion. I have heard in full from thee of the coming and going of beings, and also of thy infinite greatness. I have heard thy words of truth, but my soul is yearning to see, to see thy form as God of us all. If thou thinkest, O my Lord, that it can be seen by me, show me, O God of Yoga, the glory of thine own supreme being. Krishna By hundreds and then by thousands, behold, Arjun, my manifold celestial forms of innumerable shapes and colors. Behold the gods of the suns and those of fire and light, the gods of storm and lightning, and the two luminous charioteers of heaven. Behold, descendant of Virata, marvels never seen before. See now the whole universe with all things that move and move not, and whatever thy soul may yearn to see. See it all as one in me. But thou canst never see me with these mortal eyes. I will give thee divine sight. Behold my wonder and glory. Sanjay. When Krishna, the god of yoga, had thus spoken, O king, he appeared then to Arjun in his supreme divine form. And Arjun saw in that form countless visions of wonder, eyes from innumerable faces and numerous celestial ornaments, numberless heavenly weapons, celestial garlands and vestures, forms anointed with heavenly perfumes. The infinite divinity was facing all sides, all marvels in him containing. If the light of a thousand suns suddenly arose in the sky, that splendor might be compared to the radiance of the Supreme Spirit. And Arjun saw in that radiance the whole universe in its variety, standing in a vast unity in the body of the gods. Trembling with awe and wonder, Arjun bowed his head, and joining his hands in adoration, he thus spoke to his god. Arjun, I see in thee all gods, O my god, and the infinity of beings in thy creation. I see a god, Brahma, on his throne of lotus, and all the seers and serpents of light. All around I behold thy infinity, the power of thy innumerable arms, the vision from thy innumerable eyes, the words from thy innumerable mouths, and the fire of life from thy innumerable bodies. Nowhere I see a beginning, or a middle, or an end of thee, O God of all, form infinite. I see the splendor of an infinite beauty, which illumines the whole universe. It is thee, with thy crown and scepter and circle. How difficult thou art to see, but I see thee as fire, as the sun, blinding and incomprehensible. Thou art the imperishable, the highest end of knowledge, the support of this vast universe. Thou, the everlasting ruler of the law of righteousness, the spirit who is and who was at the beginning. I see thee without beginning, middle, or end. I behold thy infinite power, the power of thy innumerable arms. I see thine eyes as the sun and the moon, and I see thy face as a sacred fire that gives light and life to the whole universe in the splendor of a vast offering. Heaven and spirit and all the infinite spaces are filled with thy spirit, and before the wonder of thy fearful majesty the three worlds tremble. The host of the gods come to thee, and joining palms in awe and wonder, they praise and adore. Sages and saints come to thee and praise thee with songs of glory. The Rudras of destruction, the Vasus of fire, the Sadayas of prayers, and the Adityas of the sun, the lesser gods, Visvadevas, and the two Asvins, charioteers of heavens, the Maruts of winds and storms, the Ushmapas, spirits of ancestors, and the celestial choirs of the Gandharvas, the Yakshas, keepers of wealth, the demons of hell, the Siddhas, who on earth reach perfection, they all behold thee with awe and wonder. But the worlds also behold thy mighty fearful form, with many mouths and eyes, with many bellies, thighs, and feet. Frightening with terrible teeth, they tremble in fear, and I also tremble. When I see thy vast form reaching the sky, burning with many colors, with wide open mouths, with vast flaming eyes, my heart shakes in terror. My power is gone, and gone is my peace, O Vishnu. Like the fire at the end of time, which burns all on the last day, I see thy vast mouth and thy terrible teeth. Where am I? Where is my shelter? Have mercy on me, O God of gods, refuge supreme of the world. The sons of Dhritarashtra, all of them, with other princes of this earth, and Bhishma and Drona, and great Karna, 
and also the greatest warriors of our host. All enter, rushing into thy mouths, terror inspiring with their fearful fangs. Some are caught between them, and their heads crushed into powder. As roaring torrents of water rush forward into the ocean, so do these heroes of our mortal world rush into thy flaming mouths. And as moths, swiftly rushing, enter a burning flame and die, so all these men rush to thy fire, rush fast to their own destruction. The flames of thy mouths devour all the world. Thy glory fills the whole universe. But how terrible thy splendor burn! Reveal thyself to me. Who art thou in this form of terror? I adore thee, O God Supreme. Be gracious unto me. I yearn to know thee, who art from the beginning, for I understand not how thou mysterious works. Krishna, I am all-powerful time, which destroys all things, and I have come here to slay these men. Even if thou dost not fight, all the warriors facing thee shall die. Arise, therefore, win thy glory, conquer thine enemies, and enjoy thy kingdom. Through the fate of their karma, I have doomed them to die. Be thou merely the means of my work. Drona, Bhishma, Jahid Ratha, and Karna, and other heroic warriors of this great war, have already been slain by me. Tremble not, fight and slay them. Thou shalt conquer thine enemies in battle. Sanjay. When Arjun heard the words of Krishna, he folded his hands, trembling, and with a faltering voice and bowing in adoration, he spoke. Arjun, it is right, O God, that people sing thy praises, and that they are glad and rejoice in thee. All evil spirits fly away in fear, but the host of the saints bow down before thee. How could they not bow down in love and adoration before thee, God of gods, supreme spirit? Thou creator of Brahma, the god of creation, thou infinite, eternal, refuge of the world, thou who art all that is, and all that it is not, and all that is beyond. Thou God from the beginning, God and man since man was, thou treasure supreme of this vast universe, Thou the one to be known, and the knower, the final resting place. Thou infinite presence in whom all things are. God of the winds and the waters, of fire and death. Lord of the solitary moon, the creator, the ancestor of all. Adoration unto thee, a thousand adorations, and again and again unto thee, adoration. Adoration unto thee who art before me and behind me. Adoration unto thee who art on all sides, God of all. All-powerful God of immeasurable might, Thou art the consummation of all. Thou art all. And if in careless presumption, or even in friendliness, I said, Krishna, son of Yadu, my friend, this I did unconscious of thy greatness. And if in irreverence I was disrespectful, when alone, or with others, and made a jest of thee at games, or resting, or at a feast, forgive me in thy mercy, O thou immeasurable. Father of all, Master supreme, power supreme in all the world. Who is like thee? Who is beyond thee? I bow before thee, I prostrate in adoration, and I beg thy grace, O glorious Lord. As a father to his son, as a friend to his friend, as a lover to his beloved, be gracious unto me, O God. In a vision I have seen what no man has seen before. I rejoice in exultation, and yet my heart trembles with fear. Have mercy upon me, Lord of gods, refuge of the whole universe. Show me again thine own human form. I yearn to see thee again with thy crown and scepter and circle. Show thyself to me again in thine own forearm form. Thou of infinite arms, infinite form. Krishna, by my grace and my wondrous power, I have shown to thee, Arjun, this form supreme made of light, which is the infinite, the all, mine own form from the beginning, never seen by man before. Neither Vedas nor sacrifices, nor studies, nor benefactions, nor rituals, nor fearful austerities can give the vision of my form supreme. Thou alone hast seen this form, thou the greatest of the Kurus. Thou hast seen the tremendous form of my greatness, but fear not, and be not bewildered. Free from fear, and with a glad heart, see my friendly form again. Sanjay. Thus spoke Vasudeva to Arjun, and revealed himself in his human form. The God of all gave peace to his fears and showed himself in his peaceful beauty. Arjun, when I see thy gentle human face, Krishna, I return to my own nature and my heart has peace. Krishna, thou hast now face to face my divine form, so hard to see. 
For even the gods in heaven ever long to see what thou hast seen. Not by the Vedas, nor an austere life, or gifts to the poor, or ritual offerings, can I be seen as thou hast seen me. Only by love can men see me and know me, and come unto me. He who works for me, who loves me, whose end supreme I am, free from attachment to all things, and with love for all creation, he in truth comes unto me.